This is Bob Barbosa from Kids Talk Radio, broadcasting and podcasting live from beautiful South Providence, Rhode Island. And I have a very special guest with me. Could you tell our audience who you are? My name is George Lindsay. I'm the director here at our Davy Lopes Recreation Center in South Providence. Now, I saw the name Davy Lopes out there, and I said to myself, why is the name Davy Lopes on this building? Well, uh, Davy Lopes is, is from this neighborhood. Uh, uh, raised right, right here on Dudley Street where the center is. Um, contrary to popular belief and what's put out in the media that Davy uh, grew up in East Providence, Davy actually grew up here in South Providence and used this center as a, as a child and young man. Okay, now, when Davy was here in the center, what was he doing as a kid? Davy, Davy was an exceptional athlete. As the story goes, Davy played football, basketball, baseball. There was really nothing Davy couldn't do, so. In the odds of someone from South Providence playing for the Los Angeles Dodgers for 10 plus years and doing all the things that he did. Did you ever have another kid like that come we, through we, here? We haven't had, we haven't had anybody um, come through here who's had this success. We have some, some other notable, uh, uh, nationally known alumni, but nobody's had the success. Davies still working in Major League Baseball mm -hmm. right now. So, I mean, thirty some odd years later. Could you mention the names of some of the other people that were? Connected to this building? Uh, Sports-wise, uh, Marvin Bonds, mm -hmm. um, Providence College, great uh, first-round draft pick in the ABA, 1970s. Uh, we've had some notable boxers come out of here, uh, Greg Towns, uh, different mm -hmm. folks. But outside of that, we've had a, a great many uh, political figures, uh, judges, lawyers, uh, just retired Chief Justice of Rhode Island Family Court, or Rhode Island Supreme Court, excuse me, Judge Joseph Rogers is alumni here, mm -hmm. uh, Judge Darrigan alumni here, I mean, the uh, Judge Galuli, uh, the list goes on and on of the alumni, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of folks who are from uh, what, what at one time was the old Dudley Street South Providence track. Now, you did an incredible thing to be able to pick this organization up and keep it going you know because uh, when I travel around the community I would almost think that it would be next impossible to keep this going how did you do it well uh, first of all with the with the with the grace of God you know what I mean uh, uh, at our backs and you know uh, some some really dedicated members of the community uh, some dedicated uh, uh, public servants, you know, the council people, a couple of state representatives, you know what I mean, who, who believed in, in the center, um, and then just, you know, community folks, being community folks, putting ideas together and, and working, working hard all day, every day to bring this place back to life. This place had such a illustrious history, you know, um, so many, so many great people came out of here you know folks just just knew that you know it, 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 it would take some work but that it wasn't impossible to, to to breathe life back into this recreation center now i remember uh, a time when you had the world's greatest swimming pool and there was a high diving board and and all kinds of people came through here doing amazing things on that high dive uh, what's happened to that pool well, uh, the pool still exists. Um, still, uh, uh, actually, was was cut short where it was a, a, a Olympic size at one time. Um, it's been cut a little short. They cut it short some years ago, probably about 20 years ago, to uh, create an indoor pool. That indoor pool has since evolved into a boxing gym because the city wasn't able to maintain the mm -hmm. uh, the heater and the filter. But the old outdoor pool exists. The diving boards have been taken down. Um, excuse me, for liability reasons, the city uh, removed all diving boards from all, all of its six 
uh, different outdoor pools. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually filled in five of the six deep ends. And Davy Lope Center is the last pool in the city that actually has a, you know, 12, 14 foot deep end of the pool remaining. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, has Davy Lopes made any trips back here to see this uh, center since his name uh, got put up on the building? Davy's Davy's been back, you know, a couple of times. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't we don't see Davy regularly. You know, uh, Davy has you know uh, most of his family still lives here. Brothers, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what uh, Davy's sister Mary Sylvia Harrison, she's the uh, uh, executive director, the CEO of. Uh, Rhode Island Children's Crusade. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I, I think they keep Davy kind of up to up to speed about you know the, the goings on here at the center. Well, you know, I I would love to see the swimming pool before the sun goes down here. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to cut here and take a commercial break, and we'll come back and we'll be at the famous South Providence pool at the Davy Lope Center. No. Correct. Yeah. Because I remember playing over there on those, those are the exact basketball courts. Correct. Now I want to take a peek down here. If you would tell us one more time about, you've got the deep pool and no one else has right. it. Right. Nobody else in the city uh, any longer has a deep end to their swimming pool. The diving boards went out first and about seven or eight years ago, um, the city decided to fill in all of the deep ends of the other of the other five pools, we fought to save uh, the deep end. Mm -hmm. Felt like we kids would never truly know how to swim. Yeah, learn how to swim if if, if they didn't have the deep water mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. swim in. And yeah. so so we've maintained ours over these years. You know. So the, the, you had this pool going this summer? Yes, we ran the pool this summer. Um, probably one of the worst summers we had. The city, the, the, there was a uh, accidental drowning at another pool in the city um, summer before this one. And so the, the, the city changed all the pool rules yeah. this year and it really, really uh, knocked out the numbers and the, uh, and, the, and, the, and the participation from the community mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this summer. So it was a really slow summer yeah, this yeah. summer here at the pool. Well, uh I'm trying to think. I, I, I'm noticing the houses there. Those are the original houses that have always been here all well, these years. Well, actually, these three have always been there. There used to be another house right here where this parking lot was that, that its back was to the fence oh, right there okay. where that car was. Okay. This is a new house, and that's a new house. Oh. Both of those houses were built in probably the last 15 years. Okay, but, okay. Uh, the, these three, one, two, three, and that one on the corner, those have been there. Um, the That one on the corner was redone. There's a lot there. There used to be a house there. Oh, yeah. And then I remember Summer that. Howell, yeah. Matt lives in the green one over there. That house is, has been there for, for forever. And so we, the senator if, still lives there? Yep. Yeah. Senator Met still lives yeah. there. Yeah. And if we could go on to the other side of the school building, mm -hmm. the old house, the old rectory house, that the nuns lived in, that's still there also. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna switch.